Yo, welcome back everyone, Nemesis is here, and in this video I'm playing some bridge spam, and I'm against Code Anthony, so, um, really good player, not much else to really say about it, and he's going for a Knights in the back, and you know, this is kind of funny because I actually don't have Evolution Knight, because I'm playing on my main account, and since my main account is literally like fully maxed on every single card, um, I feel like there's really no point to buy the Pass Royale because I wouldn't really get too much value out of it. So yeah, I don't have Pass Royale on here, so I'm playing with just a regular Knight. And um, <laughs> yeah, let's just see how it works out. So I'll just go for my Elite Barbarians right there for the Goblin Giant. And yeah, this guy is definitely Sparky for sure. So um, yeah, there is the Sparky. Um... And he, like I said, he's got the mini P.E.K.K.A. He's also got the minions, so... Uh, and he has no Goblin Giant at the moment, so he can't really do anything too crazy with this Sparky right now. So I'll just, you know, pop this ability right here. And he's going for mini P.E.K.K.A. plus Rage, just straight at the bridge. I really don't understand that play, but um, yeah. He's going for a Knights as well, so hear me out, guys. What I'm going to do in this scenario is, since he doesn't have mini P.E.K.K.A. in rotation, he doesn't have Knight in rotation, those are both of his mini tanks, he only has minions, so me dropping this magic archer, like look at that, that was actually perfect, he only had minions left for like his defense, and me just playing that magic archer right there, just basically, yeah, um, I don't really know what to say, so, um, it was just a really good heads up play, honestly, and, um, this is looking really, really good. I feel like he can still catch up for sure. Um, okay, uh, I'll just definitely just sell out here for sure. He has no elixir pretty much. Yeah, he basically has no elixir right here. Hopefully my evil barbarians just like take it out. He's going for the evolution knight though, so. Okay, um, I could just like pop the ability here too. And he's probably going to play for this knight right here. So I gotta be really careful. So there's the Goblin Giant and the Minion, so I'll just kite this Knight over here. And I'll go for a Magic Archer right here. Really, really scary. Um, I think I actually might lose my tower here. Um, I have to play for this Evolved Knight as well, so... Yeah, that was actually really, really scary. Oh my gosh. Um, but uh, at least we survive, right? He's got a Mother Witch. Is that his first time he played that thing? Like, I don't even really know. Um, but let's see, so my knight will get one shot, he gets two shots, I'm just going to play a bandit at the bridge because he probably has no elixir right here, and he probably wasn't expecting it, and um, uh, oh look at that, three crown, <laughs> let's go for the next match. Here's the next match, and let's see what this guy's got for me. Um, I'll just honestly just cycle my bandit right here. Um, not too bad of a hand, but, uh, you know, because I got the bandit, so it's a pretty solid starting play. Um, and I'll just go for my Magic Archer in the back in response to that Inferno Dragon. So I don't really know what this is. He's got a Lumberjack, so maybe um, Lumber Loon Freeze is kind of what I'm assuming right now. I was first thinking Lava Hound, but he played that Lumberjack right there, so it's kind of looking like the Lumber Loon Freeze deck. So, um, yeah. I'll just go for my Royal Ghost in the back right here, and uh, he's got a Barbarian Barrel, so this is definitely Lumberloon Freeze. I think right here, I want to go for a Battle Ram, force the Bowler out, and um, perfect. That is actually perfect. He hit really, yeah, and he played the Tornado, so that's 8 Elixir. He really has nothing for this. Oh, well, I guess he had more than 2 Elixir, because <laughs> he played the Inferno Dragon, but um, yeah, that was so, so good. Just him playing the bowler right there, it literally forced out his best response to my Elite Barbarians, so he really had a hard time dealing with the, you know, the Elite Barbarians, and I'll just take a fireball right there. This is already looking so good, but honestly, anything can happen, so I just gotta be really patient here, and um, that balloon might just probably get one shot. I don't really want to pop the ability on that, though. Maybe that's a misplay, maybe not, I don't know. I kind of wanted to save the ability for offense, but um, yeah, I don't know if that's a misplay or not. And yeah, so my queen is getting so much damage for me though, that is beautiful. Um, Let's see here. I'm honestly just going to go for a bandit in the pocket right here, maybe try to like 
Okay, he caught on to it. That's actually pretty impressive. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, I thought that that would definitely work because it's kind of a really unpredictable play, I would feel like. And um, he's got his Electro Dragon right there, so I just gotta be really careful here. I might honestly have to play a queen. Yeah, like I have to play a queen here because I have no other options of killing those dragons. So I'm going to also play my bandit out here to distract the Electro Dragon. And um, he's got his Inferno Dragon right there. I'll just play my knight right there. I'll go for Magic Archer High plus a Fireball. So um, he has to Fireball the Magic Archer. Okay, so um, or not Fireball, freeze the Magic Archer. I meant. Um, and that should be a really nice game, honestly. Um, not much else to really say. I played it really, really well. Just a really nice heads-up play. And single elixir just secured me the W. So, not much else to say. Let's go for the next match. Here's the next match. And let's see. So, he's going for a Dark Prince in the back. I'll just respond with my Bandit in the back. Really, really safe play. And um, you can't really get punished for it, you know? So... He's got a Dark Prince, um, he's also got a Queen, okay, don't really know what this is, I'll just go for my Knight right here, and he's going to pop the ability, I think I also have to just Battle Ram this as well, because I don't want to take too much damage from the Queen, because that thing could do a lot of damage, he's also got a Cannon as well, so, um, not really sure what this is, honestly, so I'll just go for my Magic Archer in the back, uh, so Dark Prince, Queen, Cannon, Skeletons, um, and a bomber as well, so he's going for his Dark Prince. I really don't know what this is, honestly. I don't know what his win condition is, um, and, uh, I'll just be really passive though, honestly, so let's go for my bandit right here, see what he wants to do for this, um, he's going for a queen again, um, let's see, I'll just have to go for my knight right here. Really good timing on the knight, and I had to go for, you know, a battle ram again soon right here, so just don't want to take too much damage, and like I said, just playing really, really passively, because I don't know exactly what this guy has. Um, I just don't want to be surprised, you know, so just conserving my elixir is really important, and uh, yeah, so actually though, wait, is this Electro Giant? <laughs> okay, I think this is actually Electro Giant, so... Um, yeah, this has got to be Electro Giant for sure. It just kind of hit me right now. It looks like Electro Giant for sure. So, um, basically, with that being said, I just got to um, save my Elite Barbarians pretty much until he plays his E-Giant. And we should kind of be good to go at that point. And he's got the Lightning. Yeah, this is definitely 100% Electro Giant. So, um, I had to also go for my Royal Ghost right here. And, um... Let's see. Let's see what he wants to do for this ghost. He's going for skeletons. Go for queen right here. Um, there's the E-Giant for sure. So um, let's see. My E-Barbs should do a really good job right there at taking care of that Electro Giant just like that. So really, really good. Like I said, man, if I just save my E-Barbs in hand, I should be kind of fine, honestly. Um, and just have really good micro interactions in general should just be the name of the game here and he's going to pop the queen ability totally fine right there so there's his next electro giant i'll just go for my elite barbarians and this is kind of like the only annoying thing is you know the bomber plus the electro giant you know combination it does a pretty decent job for my elite barbs mainly for the bomber aspect because you know it just does so much splash damage so i just got to be really really careful about that but overall i should still be fine um popping the ability on the queen right there really really nice play and um let's see here so um i'll just go for my royal ghost for the queen right here plus my knight and i just had to go for another set of elite barbarians right there and yeah so um his queen does get one shot on my right side tower, but it is totally fine, you know, it's totally fine, nothing crazy. Um, I'll just go for my ghost, plus my battle ram right here. He just uses dark prince too, okay, that's actually really good for me, that's like one of his best defensive cards, so I get a really, really nice connection right there, oh my gosh, okay, so that should solidify the match if I play the rest of this well. Um, 
You know, the only scary thing at the moment right now... Okay, I'm definitely taking that fireball, but... The only scary thing in the moment right now is that he has his queen on the field, so... He's going to get a really nice three-card cycle. So he's probably going to outcycle me like crazy right here. Okay, so... Yeah, just like that. That's kind of scary, bro. Um... I'll just have to fireball again. He's going for a lightning. I had to go for my bandit right here. Um, had to go for my royal ghost, and that is what I'm talking about. Like that is so scary. I just had to pour on a lot of pressure. Maybe go for my magic archer right here. Um, yeah, that's not aligned either. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I have to like prediction this guy's goblin giant. Not this goblin giant. This electric giant. Um, but you know there it is. Um. um I have to fireball two right here, so... Okay, that was pretty close at the end. He made it pretty close. Okay, um, that was really scary, but I pulled away with the W. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more videos in the future.